Greetings, welcome to this new video about mesh analysis method solve the problem number 7 Given the electric circuit with R1 and R4 are equal to 2 ohms R2 and R3 are equal to 6 ohms and R5 and R3 R6 are equal to 3 ohms and we have a voltage source Vs is equal to 5 volt The question now for the bridge network find the current I using mesh analysis I is the current through the resistor R1 let's go to the solution let's start first with mesh 1 by applying KVL in mesh 1 we can write negative Vs plus R1 IA plus R2 IA minus IB plus R5 IA minus IC is equal to 0 by replacing the, the, the resistor, the resistors and the voltage with their numerical value, we obtain negative 5 plus 2 IA plus 6 IA minus IB plus 3 IA minus IC is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 5 plus 11 IA minus 6 IB minus 3 IC is equal to zero after we finish from mesh one we go now to mesh two by applying kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh two we can write r2 ib minus ia plus r3 ib plus r4 ib minus ic is equal to zero if we replace the resistors with their numerical values we obtain 6 ib minus ia plus 6 ib plus 2 IB minus IC is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 6 IA plus 14 IB minus 2 IC is equal to 0. We go now, the last, we go now to the last mesh, mesh number 3. If we apply KVL in mesh 3, we can write R4 IC minus IB plus R6 IC plus R5 IC minus IA is equal to 0. If we replace the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain 2 IC minus IB plus 3 IC plus 3 IC minus IA is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 3 IA minus 2, I, 2 IB plus 8 IC is equal to 0. Finally, we obtain three equations which are necessary to found IA, IB, and IC. Let's start first with equation 2 minus 2 times equation 3. We obtain negative 6 IA plus 14 IB minus 2 IC plus 6 IA plus 4 IB minus 16 IC is equal to 0. We have negative 6IA and 6IA that cancel each other. Then we obtain finally 18IB minus 18IC is equal to 0. That means that IB is equal to IC. And I will call this equation A. We go now to equation 1 minus 3 times equation 3. We obtain negative 5 plus 11IA minus 6 IB minus 3 IC plus 9 IA plus 6 IB minus 24 IC is equal to 0. We have here negative 6 IB and 6 IB they cancel each other then we obtain finally negative 5 plus 20 IA minus 27 IC is equal to 0. Then we can write IA in terms of IC is equal to 27 IC plus 5 over 20 and I will call this equation B by substituting A and B in 2 we derive an equation that exclusively relates to IC we need to put this equation in common denominator that means we need to multiply here by 20 and here also by 20 if we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 6 multiplied by 27 IC plus 5 plus 280 IC minus 40 IC is equal to 0. 
that means 78IC is equal to 30 that means IC is equal to 384.6 milliamps from A we have IB is equal to IC that means IB is equal to 384.6 milliamps and from B we have IA is equal to 27 IC plus 5 over 20 that means IA is equal to 729.2 milliamps the current I through the resistor R1 is equal to IA is equal to 729.2 milliamps after we finish calculation we have done simulation using a SPICE simulator in order to verify our calculation let's go together to see this circuit in SPICE simulator environment here is the circuit done by SPICE simulator we have here VS is 5 volt r2 is 2 ohms r3 6 ohms and r5 3 ohms r1 6 ohms r6 is 2 ohms and r4 is 3 ohms if we go to analysis dc analysis calculate nodal voltages we can see here that ia is equal to i is equal to 769.23 milliamps and ib is equal to ic is equal to 384.62 milliamps also we can we can also go to analysis this analysis and you will have a table of results in this table you have all the results you need let's say if we want for example to to measure this to measure the current through the resistor we will have here the current I R2 that's between uh, that's uh, R2 that's between 4 and 6 that means this current that's 769.23 milliamps and uh, if we want to see the voltage is also possible this is, is VP1 etc VP2 other voltage this for example is the voltage by R2 is 1.54 volt the voltage by R6 is 231 the voltage by R5 is equal to 115 volt and the current is 384.62 milliamps thank you for watching this video if you have any question do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share see you next time in another video about mesh current method have a nice time bye bye